Howdy folks, so today we are jumping into Claude, which is another large language model similar to ChatGPT. The reason why we're doing that is I want to show you a handy feature you can use as a learning designer and L&D teams to prototype product ideas. So here's how it works. So first, you'll need to go onto Claude's website. You can find that by a simple Google search, sign up for a Claude account. And then what we want to do is to turn on beta features on your account. So you will see right here, there's an experimental feature enabled. When you first create an account, you'll see this little icon and then you can click that and then you can switch on this feature called Artifacts. So Artifacts is what we're gonna to use to look at some prototyping of ideas. As it says here, Artifacts allows you to use Claude to generate code snippet, text documents, loads of different designs. Don't worry about that at the moment. I'm going to show you how that works and why it can be useful for us. So once we complete that, we can start to play. So I'm going to show you a, a bit of an example of something that I have done earlier. So let's jump into that. So I have got a, a lovely example here of something that I've been messing around with Claude. So I said to Claude that I wanted to create an app that helps people share their favorite resources to read an AI for learning. And it actually let people upvote on resources, leave short comments, and I've given it an idea of the UI. And then what we can see here is that Claude has come back and said, okay, cool. So this is what we can create for you. And you can see that there. But the really cool thing is we can see this in real time. So if I click this here, what you then see is the app that Claude has created. And you can preview that. You can look at the code if you're a software engineer, you want to mess around with that code. You can get a preview and you can actually use that. So you can see here, it's workable. I can upvote, I can downvote. I can leave comments, I'll just write sad there, add a comment, which is pretty cool. So it allows us to prototype some ideas we might have. What you can also do is download this and you can publish this artifact as well. So what I mean by publish is that you can publish that for other people to use. So you want to share that in your team or share that with your workforce to get an idea of a kind of app that they would want. You can do that. And then what you're able to do, of course, is to refine this. So as an example, I've done a couple of things where I've asked it to change the style, as you can see here. And then what I also like is that I gave it an example. So I said, look, I found this kind of image online. I'd kind of like it to look like this. And I give that into Claude and then it redesigns the app. So what you can see here now is, what's taking that away, that the app has been redesigned to look the same as the image that I've given it, which is pretty cool. So the reason why I share this is that, and you can see as I've done that again here, is that we can start to think about how can we use these apps to prototype some of the ideas that we have for experiences, that we have for products that we're building, and even stuff that we're thinking about potentially buying externally, but we can look at how can we build like a in-house prototype to make sure it is something that's going to be beneficial to users. So this could be any type of thing. Like I say, it can be a technology app where people are searching for content. It could be something that you're building from a coaching or feedback tool perspective, you know, whatever your heart desires pretty much. So that's a very quick rundown, but it shows you what you can do quite quickly with different tools beyond content creation. So again, my whole message is always, how do we look beyond content creation? This is a great example of a feature that we can use to prototype ideas and test with our users. So as always, I hope that's helpful. If you have any questions, leave those in the comments and I will speak to you in the next one. Ciao.